Hello everyone and welcome back to another tourist bus simulator video. I've seen quite a few comments about how do you make routes and free play, how do you sort of get into it and how do you pick buses and stuff like that. So I thought I'd do a bit of a sort of a little small tutorial on how you make routes in the free play section. Obviously this is for the console version where it's slightly bit more, uh, I suppose a little bit more harder than how you do it on PC where it's just a simple few clicks. So on here obviously yeah you've got the career mode. Uh, that's just the career mode and we're going to be doing the free play mode so this is where you can make routes and you sort of have a timetable and any bus you want to use so let's go into there uh, we'll do a new game uh, I'm just going to quickly delete the route I've already made let's quickly get rid of that so what you want to do is you'll sort of start on this screen here so you want to use the d-pad to go to the little, little, what's the, what do you call that, little checklist or little bits of paper press square which on xbox it would be x uh, and then you can see line name so i'm going to press square on xbox again it would be x and then press a if you're on xbox and x if you're playstation i'm going to call this route the tutorial route which would be a very weird name for passengers wondering why not is it called tutorial route and then line number you can change using l1 and r1 which on uh, xbox would i think be rb and lb so we're going to do, I don't know what it can go up to, probably quite a, a high number. We'll do line 22, why not? Uh, and then what you do, to add stops, you press square. So on Xbox it'll be Y to interact with the map. Uh, and zoom in, it's LB and RB, so L1, uh, no, L1 and R1. So zoom in, you, know, you can move around and do what you want. So let's do a route from, let's say, the airport. You can't go wrong with the airport. Let's um, let's start there, and then it will go to where should we where should we have it go to? And then it will go to Puerto del Rosario Centro, like that, nice and simple. And if you don't want a return trip, just press square, and the return trip will go. Uh, and if you want obviously a return trip, press square, and you can see the other line shows up because that's the return trip. So we'll do that. Um, and then you can obviously add more stops, so you can then do it to uh, Puerto de Rosario Norte, like that, nice and simple. Uh, and you can just keep adding more and more and more stops. And if you want to get rid of a stop, simply click on it again. So hover over it, press X or A, and there we go, that's the stop uh, gone. So then what you do is you press circle or B. Um, and then you want to save the route so you can see it's 11 kilometers and the travel time is 14 minutes that's game time so in real time on one to five scale that's probably about five minutes so press x to save it and now you can see you've got lines 22 airport to puerto del rosario and then to play it oh another thing where it says number of routes so i believe that is how many times you want to go around on that certain route so if you did two it would go up to Puerto del Rosario, back to the airport, and do the same again, twice. So you can have that, well, tons of times. Uh, but we're going to do it to uh, just just one. Just one. And then continue. Uh, and this is where we can pick our buses, the weather, uh, even the calendar. As I own it on sometimes. Let's do the system. Does that work? It, it, oh, does it work? Yeah, it does work. There we go. So you can see what time I'm recording this. Uh, so we're going to do that, uh, and then we're going to change the weather to dynamic, like that, uh, and this is just your control, so arcade, realistic, customised, um, so we're going to keep it on realistic, and I want to pick my bus, so we're going to go for the, oh wow, that's a, one of my custom weird liveries I've done, let's go for the Neoplan, because the Neoplan is just a cool bus, um, and we want to put a livery on it. Which it seems they have uh, got rid of the uh, Flixbus liveries. They were quite cool, so it's a shame to see them gone. But yeah, they were quite cool. Let's go for um, what should we go for? Let's go for Rosario lines. There we go. That seems like quite a, an appropriate one as we're going to Puerto del Rosario. Do that, and then start. I mean, it's as easy as that to make a route and then start driving it. So we'll go in and we'll give it a drive. Here we are, so you've got our timetable there on the phone. Line 22 from the airport to Puerto del Rosario. Routes driven 1, as we're literally just going there. Uh, and you can see departure time is now. 
uh, people, 11 people are getting on and at Puerto de Rosario 11 people are getting off and we'll do that at 14 past and uh, you can change the weather up there on the phone little weather icon right let's get into the uh, Skyliner uh, we get all of this set, it's nice to not have the black pavement um, let's get that on uh, we get the AC on for the passengers put it at about 20 degrees uh, and let's get the bus down get the tea services on Wi-Fi, uh, toilet uh, and then we'll also do the destination board which you can see is line 22 get the lights on, reading lights as well and let's get the doors open so that is there I was trying to find notice the rear view mirror doesn't seem to work anymore I don't know if it was working before but it doesn't seem to be um, on and yeah people will slowly get on onto the skyliner they go so 11 people are getting on look at that it is a gorgeous looking bus probably the best looking bus there is in the game I mean look at this it. it's great do that up uh, get the parking brake off set that to reverse and do the on back we go cool feels weird driving this because I've been for the last few days I've been in the mini bus as you've seen by the videos so it feels weird to be in this bus really slowly reversing just being overall quite sort of slow it's a lovely bus though the um, Skyliner and it is included as part of the base game as well, so even better. Because on PC it's um, DLC. There we go. We are heading towards Puerto de Rosario, which is 10 kilometers away. Let's come out of there. There we go. Cool. Along we go. Yeah, very nice. I mean, look at that. Very nice looking bus. Let's get back in. Has anyone been to Fort Ventura? Has anyone been on a Skyliner? I know. I think the Mega Bus have Neo Plan Skyliners. Obviously, here in the UK. Now we go Puerto del Rosario. That's where we're going. Yeah, it's nice and easy to make your own route, but hopefully it has helped. Oh, you can see a plane coming into land. Bloody hell, that is a really steep descent. What? That's going like, to slam into the ground. Oh, it's going to do it. No, we're going to miss it. There it is. There's the plane there. That was a pretty steep descent down into the airport. Although, cool, you can see planes taking off and landing. I mean, just a little added, added little bonus, isn't it? Well, the airport does look very unsafe because you've got a uh, one end of the runway is just a massive hill. It'll be like St. Bath or something. Got the cool passenger views. It's a fairly quiet bus at the moment up to Puerto del Rosario. Look at that. Rosario lines. Almost at Puerto del Rosario, probably be arriving about a minute late. Being late's all good. Round we go. Love coming into the um, village here. Or town. You got the cruise ships down there with all the tourists. Sort of mate. Coasting our way through the. Uh, through the town, it's lovely. But yeah, hopefully this uh, this video has helped you in some way. Uh, if you are struggling on trying to make your own routes, um, obviously, yeah, do comment down below. Oh, there we go. Because because there was no other route after this. It was literally just this one. And uh, you can see passengers transported and everything pretty much 100%. So lovely. 
But yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed today's video. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store. If you do want to help support the channel, see massive thanks to Aerosoft for giving us a code to show off the game. Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.